everyone, it's Anne from Annalise's Creates, Annalise's Creations. I'm here to do my Scrap Rolodex card a week. And I was going to say, oh, it's for Bea Grubbs Face the Scraps group on Facebook, as well as I'm going to post a link down at the bottom to her YouTube channel as well. So go check it out. And so I'm going to get started. And as I've said before, if you don't have a Rolodex card, use an index card. You could use an art journal. You could use a composition book, which I haven't mentioned before. So yeah, there's different ways of using your scraps. You could use a cereal box that you have cut into, you know, four by six inches, your standard postcard size and turn it into a postcard. I know that Bea Grubbs having, <clears throat> excuse me, a postcard swap coming up regarding using your scraps. And so that could be a good idea to use one of uh, my inspirations of my Rolodex card a week for the postcard. So it's up to you. But I'm going to get started. And if you have followed me on my YouTube channel, you've probably seen me use this napkin before. Well, this is leftover half of the napkin. So I'm going to use this as a background this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down and then I'll cut it to size once it's dry. All right, so I'm just going to go over with my, with some deco art, deco page. I think it's the antique color one. So if you're using the antique one, it's a little yellowed and it is, it doesn't dry matte. It's more glossy than matte and it's kind of a little sticky. So if you don't want it sticking to your other Rolodex cards, you may want to apply a matte finish, matte fixative so that it doesn't stick to your other index card. So I'm just going to go ahead and work through this card and I'm just going to say it's a free choice or just you could go by the steps that I'm using with whatever you've got as scraps. All right, so enjoy my process and as you can see I'm making kind of holes on this card on this uh, napkin because I'm kind of pushing a little too hard and I don't care because this is an index card and whatever comes up comes up. I'm kind of experimenting as I go along as well. Like this week I really have no idea where I'm going with this so I'm kind of just experimenting with what I have on hand. I grabbed a few pieces of things from my scrap bin. You've seen my scrap bin before. I have a huge bin full of scraps that just get thrown in there and yeah, and then so when I first, before I start filming, I usually will go ahead and pick a few things out that I might, that I think I might, might, might use for this card. But sometimes it goes in a completely different direction and sometimes I end up digging back in my bin because I have an aha moment and think, aha, I think I remember seeing something in my bin that will work better. So yeah, so just work with what you have as far as scraps. Don't waste your scraps, use them, okay? So I'll be right back. I'm going to let this dry off camera and I'll be back in a few. All right, so I've let this draw. I dried this off off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and trim around the edges grabbing some scissors. So I'm just going to trim the excess around the card. It's easier to do it this way than to cut it to size of the index card. I find it easier just to trim it. And see the back, it kind of picked up the wax paper, the gesso that was stuck to this wax paper to the back of this. It kind of got stuck. But that's okay. It happens, right? And this is your scrap Rolodex card. And like I said before, you know, this is a great little mini way of taking something along with you for a trip. Say you don't want to take a whole journal with you, and I'm kind of cutting around this thing. I kind of cut some of the card, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Anyhow, this is a great way of taking a mini type of miniature photo album with you. You could take a few of your Rolodex cards with you 
instead of taking a whole journal on a trip and you could do sketches you could pick up you know pamphlets along the way of your travels and add some scraps or bits from those travel magazines or travel uh, flyers that you pick up along the way you know that kind of thing so it makes a great little miniature journal travel journal if you wanted to because my Rolodex cards have lines on the back so I could make notes on the back of how I made this card or I could write my thoughts down for the day I could write what I'm doing on my travels that kind of thing so it's just a suggestion as a way of taking something with you if you're going on a vacation all right so I've got this it's nice and dry Let's see if I can trim the holes out a little better yeah there we go all right and to kind of make this a little less vibrant I'm going to take a little bit of gesso I'm going to squeeze a tiny bit onto the Rolodex card if I can get any out of this one it's, it's getting down to the end here and it's kind of stuck I don't want to get too much oh yep see I knew that was going to happen eh, that's okay because I'm going to wipe the excess off I'm going to use a credit card old credit card or gift card to scrape this off like this and then I still I've covered up a lot of the color from the napkins and I don't want to do that so I'm gonna take it I'm gonna rub it kind of even out like that okay it happens where you know, take the lid off and <laughs> a little too much comes out yeah <laughs> So I'm going to use a handy dandy baby wipe to wipe off some of the excess. And unfortunately I'm wasting a lot of gesso, but oh well, that happens. Okay, so I can still see some of the wings now from the butterfly there. You can see that. So I didn't, you know, get rid of all of the whole thing. And I'm just going to wipe the excess off on this wax paper because the wax paper will eventually become, I'll use this wax paper for something else. So it's not a big deal when that happens because I don't waste anything. It just becomes a part of something else later on down the line. All right. So I'm going to zoom in a little right there. Okay. So you can see a little bit better. And hopefully I'll stay within <laughs> within camera frame so the second step would be to take some gesso and cover your napkin but you know not to erase the whole design in the background you want that background showing through a bit all right and then I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna add I've got these extra pieces of things from you know my altered playing card group I made a card made something out of this cut it out I think it was the balloon to the elephant of my prompt and I don't want to waste all the card so I'm going to cut out these number tens I'm going to add some numbers next to my card so what I decided to do was add numbers this time and I bought this one's a little too big, so I'm not going to use that one. I've got this from a magazine, a catalog, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And then I've got this leftover from I think it's called Kino that you play a game, it's a number game in Vegas or any gambling place of gambling. And when I went to Reno, I saved this particular one. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out just some random numbers. So here are my random numbers. And then I've got this leftover piece from something I was making 
So I'm going to cut out the number five. And I'm going to put this somewhere too. So we'll figure out how this is going to go on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the numbers down and this time I'm going to just use my glue stick for this and hopefully it'll adhere. Okay, this glue stick kind of dried out a little bit, but what do you do when your glue stick, if you leave the lid off, like I've done on numerous occasions, I've left the lid off of my glue stick. There's a trick to that, to get it to re-moisten moisten or moisten, I don't know how to pronounce that word. You put it in some warm water for a few minutes and it re-moistens the stick and then just put the lid back on. You know, dry off the excess water from it and then go ahead and add the lid back on. So I'm just adding some random numbers. So I guess the theme for this week's card is numbers. So I'm just adding random numbers. Next I'm going to add some random pieces of dictionary paper. And I'm just going to try to add it in just a few spots. I'm not going to cover the whole background because I want some of, whoops, some of that background to show through. So I don't want to cover the whole thing up, and I'm just going to use my finger this time. So I realized I didn't bring my small um, paint brushes up. So I'm just going to use my finger. Fingers work too. If you don't like to get your fingers messy, then use your brush. All right, so I'm just going to add a few little scraps of this. Okay. And next, I'm going to add some glitter to this, all right? So I have this really these really cool these are made from deco art. They're glamour dust paints. They have ultra fine glitter in them, but they're also colored paints. So it's really cool. So I'm gonna use some of these colored paints, but I'm not, I'm gonna only use them over the dictionary pages. Cause these, these this is a little kind of a see-through, you know, it's not opaque. It's more of a translucent paint. So it doesn't dry completely, you know. And I am gonna use a brush this time for this. My little brushes are all downstairs, and this one's a ratty brush. I don't like using my good brushes for stuff like this because it can actually ruin your brush. So I'm just lightly going in and just adding some of the um, paint over the, the uh, text, the dictionary text, because I don't want to cover every, my background up too much. I kind of want to show that through still. So I'm just lightly going over those areas. I want to add a little more purple to this one. This one's a little opaque and I want to add a little more purple so you can see that purple. All right. And I'm going to dry this off camera and then I'll be back in a minute. All right, so as I was drying, I accidentally lifted up that number one and it tore. And that's okay because I decided I want to come in and add a piece of fabric. This is a Guatemalan woven fabric from my mother's country. And it is made hand weaved by the Mayan Indians. And my ancestry, part of my ancestry is Mayan. 
my great grandmother, or actually my great, yeah, my great grandmother was Mayan Indian. She was from Mayan Indian descent, 100% Mayan. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and I'm going to just let it dry on its own. And I still think I'm missing something on here, so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna add, what else I'm going to add to this, so I'll be right. All right, so I have this edge of a doily, paper doily, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue it down right about here. I'm gonna use the decoupage antiquing stuff, and it came out quite a bit having issues with controlling my stuff today. So I'm just gonna wipe it around a little bit. My finger. And then I'm gonna glue this down like this. And I'm gonna take some of the excess that's on the card and go over it. And then I'm gonna tear this piece off and I wanna put another one right here. Another little piece right here. Just like that, and I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes. This one's kind of having issues with adhering, so I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes, and then I'll be back to finish All this right. car. So I went ahead and trimmed the edges of the doily off the edges of this card. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this light violet. It's a heavy acrylic paint. So I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit onto my work surface. I don't need much, just a tiny, teeny bit. You can see where I squeezed it, right there, all right? So I'm gonna take my finger, it's finger painting time, and I'm just gonna go right along the top edge of this card. A little bit of the paint and around the edge here too, just a little bit. Okay, just like that, see that? All right, and then I'm not quite done. I'm gonna go pick out a button. I wanna put a button right there or some bling or something. So I'll be right back as I try to find a button. I'll be right back. All right, so I have this jar full of vintage beads and sequins. And so I poured a few out and I've already kind of placed them down where I kind of want them. This is the button I chose. I don't know whether this is a cow or a dog. I think it may be a cow. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this button down I could have stitched it, but eh, I'm being lazy today. I don't want to go find my needle and thread. Then I'm going to take this bead that I have right here. And I'm going to glue it over these two holes like that. And then I've got this really cool bead. See that one? It's kind of like a star bead. I'm going to go ahead and put place plenty on the back of this one. I'm using clear Aline's tacky glue. It tends to be a little bit thinner than the original white tacky glue, but it works perfect. It works just as well. So I'm just adding these down and it's gonna take a while for these to dry. So I'm not gonna pick this card up until it's completely dry of these, you know, until the beads are adhered really well on these, have dried well onto these, so they don't fall off. Okay, I like this orange one. It's kind of a peachy, like a fluorescent orange. I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down here, the middle of my card there, where the, between the two gaps, and then I have this really cool purple one that I like. These are really cool. So that one's going to go down there. Okay, see that? 
So there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed my Rolodex card a week, or I should say scrap Rolodex card a week for Bia Grubbs Face the Scraps group. And I want to thank Bia for letting me do this for her group. And it's a great way of getting rid of your scraps and using the thing, using your supplies that you normally may not use in your art journaling. So use what you have. Don't go out and buy new things. Use what you got first. Because um, if you're like me, I tend to be a hoarder. <laughs> I like to hoard my supplies because I keep thinking, well, what if I use it, if I save it for something else? What if? What if? Well, that what if is never going to come if you never use your stuff. So I'm learning to let go and use what I have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll come back. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I shall see you next time. Toodles. Have a wonderful week. Bye.